what's up guys andrew here welcome back to the tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how to update drivers for windows 11 on your pc or laptop so guys the first thing you want to do is just simply right click on your windows icon on your pc right here and go to settings and you want to go to windows update i recommend that you do a check for update to see if you have any updates that you need to install on your pc and generally these are also going to show updates for drivers as well so once you do all the updates right here guys if you don't see any driver updates just simply scroll down to where it says advanced options and you can open up the advanced option under the advanced options you will see optional updates and these are features quality and also driver updates if you see anything there so such as available it simply means that there are available drivers and those could be related to drivers so you want to click there and check to see if any driver updates are there and you want to go ahead and install them once you install those driver updates i recommend that you restart your pc then the next thing is to go ahead and go to your device manager so simply right click again on the windows icon on your taskbar right there and go to device manager now inside device manager you will see if there is any driver that requires update in sometimes they will show some little yellow icons showing you question marks and so forth to tell you that the drivers needs to be updated otherwise if you want to manually update any driver whatsoever then you want to go ahead and find that driver so let's say i wanted to update my keyboard driver or my display driver i can go ahead and i can go ahead and click this drop down here to expand display adapter find the driver that i want to update let's say this intel graphics right here i can right click on it and i can click an update once you click an update you have two options really the search automatically which simply means it's going to search the web automatically download and install it for you or you can browse what's available so just simply click and browse my computer and from here you will have the option to either browse a file which i recommend if you don't have it you don't need to choose this option but you can choose from existing ones that are available so let me pick from a list you click on that it's going to show you the list of drivers right here just select the one that is similar to the driver itself then click on next and you'll be able to proceed with updating your driver before we jump in guys would you mind take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video and on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now, let's continue. This is a step basically works for any drivers that you have. Another thing that you can do to quickly update or install the latest version of a driver is to right click on the driver and simply uninstall it. Once you go ahead and uninstall it, just simply click on action and click for scan for hardware changes. That's going to also do a check for any hardware that requires driver update or any drivers are missing and it will try to update it for you. Again, all of this, simply restart your PC and that's how you would successfully update drivers for Windows 11. Now, in worst case, guys, you know, any of this doesn't help your basic updating of driver. You want to open up your browser and visit official website for driver. So let's say you're looking for Intel drivers. I recommend that you open up your browser and just simply type in Intel drivers, right? So temple type in Intel drivers and you will be able to visit intel.com where you can download drivers. For example, you need to search for drivers that you need and you'll be able to find them. So you can either search for something that you know or you can browse for whatever. So let's say you want graphics driver, you can click on that, select the product and you can follow the steps that you have here by either search on the left hand side for whatever you need and you'll be able to quickly find them and download those drivers. Once you download it, you know you need to double click and run it as administrator in your PC and install those drivers. But that's pretty much it guys, very easy and very simple. Here you have it guys, I really hope you found value within this video and if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.